Hello, everyone. Welcome to your 15-minute stretch break. I am Caitlin. Thank you so much for joining. If you like to join live, we will be changing up the schedule a little bit for our Q1 schedule. Um, our stretch break is going to be held virtually on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 11 a.m. to 11.15. So we're just pushing it up an hour. Um, and then we also will have a yoga class at 7.30 in the morning on Mondays that is virtual. All the other classes that we have are going to be in person. So if you can join in person, please do. Um, otherwise, if you need any other classes, look back on our YouTube channel. We have over a thousand classes that you've picked. So let's get rolling again. I'm Caitlin, thank you for joining. Today, you will just need a chair. So bring your knees wide. Feet together, hands up on that chair, and then sit back, dropping your head between your arms. Just relax, sit into it, you can shake side to side. Letting out any tension that you feel in your shoulders, your chest. Wonderful. Coming up, we'll take our right arm, put it behind our back, and then drop down, leaning into that left side. Feeling that really good stretch to your shoulder and your chest. You can walk your fingertips away if you don't feel much of a stretch. And then coming up, and then we'll switch sides. So right arm down, dropping down here. Coming up, we'll just keep switching back and forth a few more reps. If kneeling isn't for you, you can always do the standing up to a taller object like a countertop. Let's do one more time each side here. Wonderful, both arms on, and then lean down one more time. Just drop that head through your arms. And exhale, breathe into it here. Wonderful, really nice job here. We're gonna go into a quick chest stretch. So we'll go one arm on, and then leaning down, dropping that shoulder down. So you should feel a nice little stretch, a little pull over that shoulder into your back. Wonderful, and we'll do the same thing on the other side, just kind of just rotate. Again, going into that back. Wonderful, okay. For our next few exercises, we're gonna actually sit in our chair. So if yours has wheels, try to walk them or just make sure you don't roll away. I don't want anybody to get hurt. Okay, so sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna take our right leg, internally rotate it, put it over our left. So ankle right over that left knee. Feel a hinge at your hips, come forward to a seated figure four. But if your hips are really tight like mine are, you'll feel it pull. We're gonna add in some rotation. So we'll take our left arm and put over our right leg, and then put our hands on the back of our chair, looking forward. Wonderful. We are going to hinge again at our hips. Same thing here, chest is forward, but up. 
you know, if we push that D down a little bit more to make it a little more intense. Then we'll add rotation again, same side. Perfect. Okay, from here, we're going to switch sides. So left leg up, internally rotate, and then drop both to that right leg. Again, hinge those hips, looking forward. Wonderful. We're going to add in that rotation. So right arm with that left leg, reaching back, grabbing that chair, and chin over shoulder. Wonderful, we'll hinge at those hips again, going back to that feet in figure four. Trying to go a little deeper this time, keeping that hinge. And then we're gonna add in that rotation. Wonderful. We're going to do one more last seated one and then we're going to move on. So right leg out. We're going to bring our heel down towards the ground. Uh, foot up, toes up, and then you're going to lean in, try to get a nice stretch to your calf and hamstring. So you can keep your back pretty straight here, leaning down. Grab where it feels comfortable. So it might be your shin, it might be your ankle, or it could be your toes. Wonderful, and we'll switch sides here. So left leg out, hinging forward. Again, grabbing at your shin, your ankle, your toes, maybe even your bottom. Okay, perfect. We are going to set our chin out of the way. We're going to bring our feet nice and wide. Wonderful, nice inner thigh stretch here. Perfect. Okay, next one. We're going to stay standing just to get a little bit of movement in. We're going to grab at our ankle, trying to straighten that leg, pushing that hip forward and pulling your knee back. Going into a quad stretch. Wonderful, shake it off. Then we'll go to our other side. So grabbing at our ankle, you can always hold on for balance if you need. Pushing that hip forward gives you a nice deep stretch into your hip flexor and a deeper stretch into your quad. Wonderful. 
wonderful. Going side to side a couple more times. Perfect switch. And one more time each side right here. Wonderful. Okay. We're going to walk down to the ground for our lat form here. So walking out into a nice plank position. Engage your core. Lift that right leg. Bring it underneath into the pigeon. Just walking your way down. Breathing into it. Your hips feel tight. You can always hold yourself up a little bit more. If it feels good, just relax into this pose. Wonderful. Pushing back, we're going to switch to the other side. So left leg up, bring it underneath, and relax into it. Wonderful, pushing back up into that plank position. We'll bring your knees wide, feet together, bend back into a final child's pose. Walk your fingertips out. Feel that nice stretch through your lats, your shoulders, and feel that heaviness in your hips. Hopefully you feel a little bit more relaxed after today and feel a little looser. <laughs> Easy to just sit and feel tight. Wonderful. So our class on Thursday will be at noon and then starting in the new year, we're going to 11 on Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of your year. Thanks.